Hey everyone, it's Dragon Fireflies, and I realized that this video is super, super freaking late, and I'm so sorry, but I haven't had a better time to do it except for now. So, here's my altar tours for Samhain. Um, yeah. <sighs> so, this is Aphrodite's altar, and a lot of stuff has been taken off and moved around. Um, I'm gonna keep this dark altar cloth on here for the dark half of the year and I'll switch back to her normal one uh, at the spring equinox. <sighs> so, the uh, bone hand uh, candle holder thing is in the center, obviously. Um, this is just a random candle, I just had it on here for like extra light. And then her amethyst heart is being held here and that's surrounded by all the other little amethyst points. Um, and then we have my oldest bone, which is usually on Hecate's altar, but considering all the other bones that are on Hecate's altar, I decided to move it over to this one, because this is the only altar that doesn't have a bone on it. So, um, yeah, so my oldest bone, deer bone, is on here. And then opposite that is the um, hollowed out skin, if you will, of a birch tree that I've had in some of my other videos. Um... And then there's her two crystals as normal. Um, these have changed about. I finally found holders uh, for candles like I do have, uh, yeah, like I do on Hecate's altar. Um, but this is actually a slab of wood from my grandfather's tree. Now, when my grandpa died, we planted a tree for him. It had a plaque with his name and like uh, birth date and death date and everything on it. And when my grandma moved, uh, we cut down the tree, and the tree was pretty much dead at the time anyways. But we cut down the tree, and everyone in the family got a few slices of the tree. And this is technically, like, my mom's slice, but she has, like, five of them. So I didn't think she'd miss one being on my altar. So, and since it's Samhain, and it's very symbolic to my grandfather, I figured it would work well. And since it is, like... Um, the tree, I forget what kind of tree it is, but I knew that it went with Aphrodite. Um, and then over here in her shell is the other candle. Why is my camera not focusing lately? I'm so sorry. Okay. Um, yeah, and then just around here are her usual three pieces of rose quartz. The shell, which is my great-grandmother's, the piece of, um, emerald. And then, oh, I don't have anything over there. Usually I have something at that spot, but... Hmm. Um, yeah, then there's just, uh, her shell for Venus and the shell for Aphrodite, which are always on here. And then this is just another shell with a slab of raw, um, tree agate in it. There's no real purpose, I just needed somewhere to put it. And, yeah, and then of course there's her gem bowl, which is over there. Um, so yeah. And then, jump over to Hecate's altar. So... A lot is happening on Hecate's altar, a lot of stuff has been moved around. So, I'll go from the back left corner. So there's her granite pillar, um, the skull candle, which I got at Grave Jammery, which I freaking love. I absolutely love it. Um, her gem bowl with her seer stone showing. Um, obviously her candle dish, which is, I'm sorry, the lighting is always terrible, especially on this side of the room. Come on, focus. I need you to focus, there we go, um, with her gems around there, as usual, uh, collagen with the candle in it, and this is a skull jug, which is basically the same thing as that, only it has the top half still on it, um, I may, uh, do one of the cool Chucky fire thingies to cut off the top of that and make it into a candle like this. Uh, just so they can balance each other, because this one's, like, silvery white and that one will be black. But, at the same time, I like being able to put flowers on her altar during the spring and summertime. So, I may keep it like that. I don't know. Um, so yeah. And then, uh, there's her dish here with her red candle and one of the skeleton keys. My smoky quartz. This is a raven skull charm. I don't know if you can see it, but there is an amethyst uh, skull there. 
Um, these were initially on the altar, which during Samhain, I just put them on here afterwards because um, they needed to go back on the altar, I guess. At least this piece did. This wasn't on there. Um, then I have them for three keys facing outwards. Um, the other little skull dude, which you can't really see, and the other uh, skull for the raven skull. My other smoky quartz, and then her white candle on the smoky quartz slab. Or actually, I think it's just agate that is smoky. So, yeah. Um, and then the two pieces of spinal uh, column cord that Ted and I got out at um, Public Ridge, and then the same for the rib pieces. Uh, this was the offering dish for Samhain that had the uh, pumpkin bread that I baked on it, and then, yeah, everything else is just the same with her three, everything here, and then the really freaking awesome candle holders that change color um, on there, so yeah. Jumping down to this altar, some of this has changed and some of it hasn't. This is just on here because I needed somewhere to put it during uh, all this altar changing, but yeah. So, some of the statues have just been, actually only these two, these two have been switched. Um, the drum bowl is completely full of gems. Um, I moved my tools down here. Initially, the reason why I moved it around is because I wanted more space on this altar. So, yeah. Um, once this is off, there's like a lot more space. So, tools are down here, and yeah, not much is to be said for this altar. There isn't much room to do anything with it, so, yeah. Okay, so, here's the official Samhain altar, even though it's like a whole week past Samhain. Um, so yeah, up here, it's actually just a little bit of wax that I had left over from when um, I was working with wax. And I made it into, like, a little skull shape. It's cute. <laughs> um, but yeah. So, I don't usually change up the stuff that are on the god and goddess statues, but in this case, I did. Um, on the god statue, I put, I took off his citrine, and that is black tourmaline, and then there's obsidian, orthoceris, and another obsidian point, and then my little bit. Uh, Labradorite is there. Yeah. Okay. Um, got a statue. That never changes, but my carnelian skull and my smoky quartz skull are down here, as well as the big piece of Labradorite. Um, and then there's the two crows. This and this, which is just a pink can holder, I got a Hobby Lobby. And this is my spell candle, obviously. Um... And then I knew at the beginning of the month for the elementals, I wanted to have black candles at their bases, um, kind of like how it was for Mabon, only this time they're all facing diagonally towards me. So, yeah. Um, and then in the center part, there's obviously Spirit with the three, uh, these are actually fossilized shells. Uh, my amethyst, the three little deer nugs from Hogback Ridge, and my three garnets around the pentacle. Um, there's my pendulum, which I use during Cywin, uh for divination, obviously. <laughs> um, I'm saying um a lot, and I don't know why. I'm sorry. My Labradorite palm stone that I usually have, as well as my hagstone, which I always have. So, onto my, uh, for the candles, this year's Samhain was mainly focused on my ancestors and working with them and honoring them. So, um, I now have four candles on here. The orange, the orange candles are always for my ancestors, um, or at least the ones that I knew personally or kind of are semi close to. Um, I didn't know either of my grandfathers. They died when I was one, but they are the closest dead ancestor that I have, if that makes any sense. Um, I did know my great-grandmother, which this candle's for her. This is a metal wishbone. I don't know why she had it 
or anything. I just know that she had it for many years, and when she died, it was given to me. So, yeah, that's next to her candle. The grandmother that recently passed um, this summer. I didn't have anything that was hers, but I have this, which she gave to me, um, like, seven years ago. Yeah, she knew I liked little knickknacks and things, so she was always giving me stuff, and this is one of the last things that I have that she gave me. Um, this one is for my Grandpa John on my mom's side, which this is my the relatives on my mom's side, this is relatives on my dad's side. Um, this is his pocket clip, or his pocket clip, <laughs> his uh, money clip is what that is. These are pictures of my grandpa on my dad's side, but however, they don't really resonate as well as this does, which is his Marine Corps knife, which uh, was passed on to my dad when he died, and my dad recently gave it to me. So, yeah, I feel like this resonates more than those pictures ever did with him. So, yeah. Um, and then obviously they had the black candles, the two bones back there that also came from Hog Pack Ridge. And, yeah, the little, um, ah, Raven candles are back there, too. So, yeah. That's about everything. I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye, I'm Lisa B.